Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Football Manager 2023 as we continue our Road to Glory run with Benbury United FC. Things have been going pretty good since the last episode, although we did have one of those absolutely unexplainable games where a team just scores goals for fun, even though they don't have any XG. Like, it's so, we've seen those before. The weirdest thing in the world. It happened. We'll get into it. Um, but other than that, everything else has been going pretty good and we are still in second place. Let's get into the episode. All right, here we are. As you can see, a lot of green dots on here. One red dot that we knew was going to happen, which was the loss against Arsenal. Who cares? No big deal. We got what we needed from that. Although we didn't get quite as much money from the gate receipts as I was hoping. We'll, we'll get into that as well. And then, of course, the loss against Salford there, which <laughs> we'll get into that as well. So first off, Sheffield Wednesday, we did get a pair of goals from Dickinson in that one to win that game a 2-1. to one. We went up against Cardiff. Chilvers picking up a hat trick early in that game. Uh, Cardiff did pick up two late goals that were really con kind of concession goals. It didn't really matter. Uh, the game was way more lopsided than a 3-2 victory. Uh, but uh, so we, thankfully we were able to keep the victory there. Uh, then the game against Salford. Yeah. Well, look at this. They had a 0.86 XG, five shots on target. We had a 2.86 XG, six shots on target. And we only scored two goals. They scored four. 0.86 XG and they score four goals. They were getting some of those goal shots from like in the middle of nowhere that just magically went into the goal. We've seen those before. It's weird. It happens every once in a while. I don't know exactly. It doesn't feel very realistic to be fair. It's just one of those things that every once in a while a team will just show up and just be able to score whenever they feel like it, no matter where they are in the field. It doesn't matter. And we got one of those games. So I'm not going to judge too harshly about that. We just kind of kind of shake it off, move forward and kind of go about our business, but <laughs> you know, it still irks me a little bit. Uh, we went against Plymouth, beat them a two to one with a goal from Chilvers and a goal from Charles in this game. Obviously we had the loss against Arsenal. We didn't even score a goal in that. I didn't really care. No big deal. Life goes on. Apparently we got our own goal from a Katanga, but who cares? Uh, we went up against Huddersfield, got a goal from Richie in this game, uh, our Notts County game. We won three to one with a pair of goals from Salisbury and a goal from Alibi in that one. So a couple, a couple goals from people that haven't scored a lot this season, but you know, good people that we know that can play. Uh, we then just went up against Cardiff in the semifinal of the Papa John's Trophy. Yay. Although it's a lot more fans than I would have expected. Uh, and we beat them a four to one with a goal from Hurt, a goal from Richie, a goal from Beck and Manzi, and a goal from Dickinson in that game. So really, really strong performance from the boys. Uh, does get us into the Papa John's Trophy final against Fleetwood, which is another team here in League One. They are only two spots below us. Still, I think it's a very winnable game. So maybe we get us a Papa John's trophy. Do we have one? I forgot if we actually got a Papa John's trophy yet. I don't remember. Um, that'd be under overview. Mm, no. That would be here, right? Yeah. So I don't see a Papa John's trophy here. Um, but uh, so I think that we've gotten to the finals, right? We got to the finals and we lost to one of the Premier League under 21s or under 23s or something like that. So. Hopefully, this is actually our best chance to actually win it. Again, do we really care? Not really, but it does give us a little bit of money. Um, you know, we get a little, you know, tiny bit of money every time we play a game like that. Plus, we get gate extra gate receipts. So, it's good financially, usually, even with these low low numbers. But uh, hopefully, the final will have a few more fans than um, a thousand, you know, or something like that. Uh, as far as finances, again, we did not get that as much money from the Arsenal game as I expected. Um uh, we got $445,000 in gate receipts so far this month. That sounds actually fairly normal in some sense, except for the fact that we've been playing all away games. So none of these games are really getting hardly, hardly any uh, gate receipts, right? It's really just the Arsenal game. The Arsenal game actually gave us 400,000 bucks by itself. So we got 400,000 bucks from that. And then I guess we've gotten collectively 45,000 from the rest of these. Maybe, maybe we split receipts here as well or something. I, I don't know exactly how it works. Um, finally, we're going to be playing a home game here coming up soon, but that's a long stretch of away from home games. Um, so yeah, it'll be good to get back home for the Walsall game. Like I said, finances, we're back in the positive. Not by a lot, to be fair. Not by a lot. But uh, looking looking okay. I mean, we're in a, we're in a good, decent spot. And um, life goes on. Other than that, um, nothing else crazy. And we've had a few injuries. I can't remember if we've still got people injured right now. We do have Char Charles out. 
Uh, Hazeman, Kamara, Herd, and Other Herd are all coming back from injuries. So we've had a few injuries that affected us a little bit, but we've been, still been performing just fine despite that. I think this is going to be a pretty tough game against Cheltenham here. However, we did beat them early in the season at home, two to nothing. So we definitely have what it takes to beat this team. Uh, Kamara can only play a partial amount of, well, actually, he can play the full game. It's just telling us he's coming back from fitness. Same thing with Hurd if we need to bring him in. But here's the team we're bringing today. We got Zach Attack, Sturge on the left, Matheson on the right, Katongo and Smith in the central defender roles, Mabaya and Oyadil in the midfield, Kamara on the left wing, Tabiner on the right wing, Salisbury and Chilvers in the attack midfield. We're actually going to swap you around. Salisbury is actually a striker. I'd rather play him as the shadow striker. Chilvers is actually a pretty strong advanced playmaker. Um, let's go. Make sure fan noise is turned on. We got to hear them cheers. Uh, that's what fuels our uh, our push for greatness here. Uh, I guess in case you didn't notice, we are still in second place. Barely, 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 barely. But we are very much still in second place. As of right now, that final game of the season against Portsmouth will be the game that decides that second place because obviously if we lose against them they will take that spot but uh i don't know hopefully we can get a little bit of, uh, of a gap here soon yeah there we are oh they actually took the lead against us uh, because we haven't played our game yet so if we win this game we'll only be ahead of them by one point so yeah that's what i expected um hopefully we can get a positive result here today it is an away from home game again long stretch of away from home games but we have played well away from home so far so i'm not super super worried about it but it will be nice to get back home in front of the fans camara oh made a mistake but then got it right back again can he capitalize on this uh i mean the goalkeeper goes out of position for a second there but we couldn't do anything to get the put back while the goalkeeper was on the ground unfortunately so that is the end of that highlight mabaya looks like he's come up with an injury he looks okay for the moment hopefully he's staying okay camara over here on this left hand side he's got some space He's just going to go for goal. I don't know if that was the wisest decision in the world, my friend, but we'll just hope you do better next time. Here comes the yawns. We are, in fact, playing FM. Oh, you dealt with the ball. Oh, there we go. Tabner gets it now. Over to Matheson. Matheson pushing the ball up. He's got Salisbury. Oh, great catch by the goalkeeper. We've seen some outstanding play from goalkeepers lately, um, <laughs> which is unfortunate because we've had a lot of shots that have been very, very good, very strong shots. But uh, just had some goalkeepers that have been able to catch or block every single one of them in a lot of these games. I guess not, not every single one of them because we've been winning games, but you know what I mean. Like, they've been blocking a lot of them. There's Chilvers down to Salisbury. Salisbury pushing the ball up. Uh, Not a good attempt there, unfortunately. Tabiner over to Salisbury again. He's going to get across to Kamara. Kamara gets tripped up. Could not get his feet under him to get a good shot off. Sturge with the ball. Gets it up to Salisbury. Salisbury's in a good spot. He just flicks it on. He gets the goal. We know that Salisbury can play like that. It is good to see him do that. Uh, I, I like having him back. I like Salisbury. We've always we've always liked him. Always kind of regretted giving him up for as little as we did at the time. I'm glad that ultimately we were able to get him back for not that much more money. And he's, he's obviously still a good player. we got a lot of strong attackers. We can't keep all of these, I don't think, going into next season. We've got to start picking at some point who we're going to stick with. Uh, and try and hopefully get some money for the other ones, at the, at, quite frankly. So, we'll see. There's Salisbury over to Mabaya. That's the one good thing is that if these guys continue to play pretty well, that does increase their value for us to be able to sell them on at some point. Okay, then. I mean, obviously, I don't want to get rid of anybody. Um, but they will not be happy if they can't all get as much game time as possible. So, we have to take... Excuse me. Guys, the yawns again. We have to take that into consideration. I cannot believe we gave that one up. Come on, guys. Our goalkeeper, that's actually on the goalkeeper, I think. I get it that he wasn't expecting this deflection, but he was in a good position that he should, and that was not a strong shot. I think he should have been in a better position to do something with that one. Corner kick coming in from Tabiner. I'm actually going to go ahead and tell the boys to demand more. Obviously, if we score on this, this will look a little awkward, but if we don't, then they will get what I am saying and hope that they pick up their game just a little bit as we get into the second half. I don't think we deserve to be drawing against this team right now. We are playing way better than them. They just got a lucky shot, quite frankly. Um, yeah. Keep it up, guys. Keep it up. Unfortunately, as of right now, the way we've been playing in this game, a draw, in my opinion, would be a loss because I think we've been playing well enough for a win. 
So anything less than a win is unfortunate, unless something changes with the way Cheltenham plays the second half here. Don't like the fact that we're starting this second half with a highlight, I don't think. <laughs> Although it is finally coming back to us. There's Tabner with the ball. He's going to get it over to Chilvers. Never mind, I changed my mind. I love that this is second half of starting with a highlight. Chilvers has been playing so well since we moved up to an attacking role. I mean, he's still a solid midfielder if we absolutely need him to be there, uh, which has happened a couple times, just based on fatigue and other things. But he's obviously thrives on the attacking side of this field. And he thrives as a uh, advanced playmaker, quite frankly. I mean, he's, he's really, really good in that spot. All right, up a goal. We do need to get some people off here. I mean, I don't like the fact that Mabai is, in fact, injured right now. We're going to bring Alibi into that spot. And Tabiner is also pretty tired, so we're actually going to get Tabiner out of here as well. We will put... I, would have gonna, I was wanting to bring Hurd in, but he's a he's not fully fit or, you know, fully back conditioned. So we'll bring Dickinson into that spot. That's going to be just fine. Come on, guys. Keep it up. All right. 60 minute mark. Who we want to swap around and now? Camara is not playing. As, well, he's playing okay ish. But really, he's also getting a little bit tired. So we'll bring him out. Do I want to bring Kirby over there? I don't really. Actually, what I want to do is play some musical chairs here. We are going to put. Um. We're going to play big time musical chairs. This is this is going to get chaotic here. There. I think that's what I like. Yep. Salisbury can come to the right. Kirby, I want him to play as the Shadow Striker. That is his best role as far as I'm concerned. And everything else looks okay. Do I want to get a defender out? I kind of do, but I think we can wait uh, a few more minutes just to get the... Because they're not super tired right now. So we'll wait a few more minutes, but we probably will get a defender out here in the last 20 minutes of this game. I'm still doing pretty early subs. I mean, I, I think there's an argument to be made to shift my subs from 50, 60, 70 to 60, 70, 80, so that you have way you have some subs late in the game in case you get some injuries. The reason I'm still doing them basically 10 minutes earlier than you might normally would see is because we still have a lot of guys that need some development. And the more development they get, the better they are for us, as well as the more value they have to us. So I'm trying to shift everything earlier in the game to get as many people as much game time as possible to continue their development in case you're ever wondering why that is the case if i had just fully developed players and they're just awesome players and whatever then i probably wouldn't be doing it quite that way i would probably be focusing a little bit more on reserving some substitutes for later in the game but i think we're doing fine just the way things are going so far we'll do that sub and then i think we will go ahead and get we'll go and get salisbury out just because i mean he's a little tired i, I know herd's not 100 percent, but he's obviously more fit right now than salisbury is at this point and he's only got to pay 20 minutes so I think this is actually going to be just fine to bring him in at this point. Uh, plus, bringing somebody as strong as him this late in the game to help us try to cement this victory would be great. There's Hurd with a free kick. Couldn't quite get it to one of our players. That would have been amazing if he had come off the bench and got himself an assist. Come on, guys. I don't like the fact that they've got a guy in the middle. Come on, play some defense here. That's not... Don't like that, guys. We're going to go ahead and just go full on whatever we got to do here to get something. Um, yeah, I'm not happy with that. To the point I'm even going to shout out the boys. I'm actually going to berate them. I, I know that's rough, but they, this, this should not happen. Like, we should not be drawing this game. This is, this is ridiculous. They've had two shots. Both of them went into the back of the net. Like, that's just ridiculous on the next level possible right like that's just absurd there's oh with the ball gets it back to smith smith gets it up to matheson matheson up to hurt hurt has some space can he do something with this yes he can yes he can can he do it yes he can <laughs> it's the shot heard around the world as he gets a goal here not a powerful shot. It was a little bit of a flick shot that he just said, you know what? I'm just going to loop it over, over the goalkeeper there. And that was perfect. Well played, sir. I am a tactical genius to bring you on, even though you weren't 100% there late in the game.
that's just the way it is. I am just the master of, I'm sorry. <laughs> I got a little, I don't want to say lucky. I literally said, I want to bring him on late because he's a strong player and I know that he can help carry this home. And it's exactly what he did. Did I expect it to go down quite that way? No, I did not. But uh, it feels really good. Uh, that was awesome. That was good. Good job, Herd. Thank you for saving the day because I was about to start bringing out my box of tissues and start weeping uncontrollably. <laughs> okay, maybe that's a little extreme, but oh, I hate losing games that we shouldn't lose. Uh, I hope you guys understand what I mean because those are always frustrating. If you lose a game that you get outplayed on, fine, whatever. Make some adjustments, change your tactics, whatever you got to do. Losing a game that you are up on XG, possession, anything else, shots, you know, whatever. Oh, those are so frustrating. All right, good stuff. Ben, we're moving to promotion contention. So, uh, yeah, we'll rest Oyedel. I think that's fine. Uh, you know, you can rest for a couple weeks. We'll have them for the last few games of the season. I think that is great, a great idea. Uh, anything else we need to do right this second? No. All right, we'll be right back for game number two, which is a home game again. Uh, Walsall, how do we play against them earlier in the season? We did lose to them uh, back in November. So it's been four months since that game. Can we flip that around at home and get to victory now that we are in a much better form than we were back then? Hopefully we can. We'll be right back. All right, we are back for game number two here against Walsall. I uh, had to make a few subs and rest a few people because there's some guys that are pretty tired and we definitely need these guys to make it to the end of the season one thing i did notice i don't know if i was just not paying attention properly but we are ahead of portsmouth by one point and we have a game in hand so if we actually get the victory today we will stretch that lead to a four point gap uh which is which is awesome that means that that last game of the season if we can keep that gap until then uh would be irrelevant <laughs> which i'm okay with um but let's see. Let's get into this game today. Here's the team we're bringing. We got Zach and Goal, Chizobo on the left, Becca Manzi on the right, Hayes Green and Foran in the middle. Uh, Hayesman and Alibi coming as our midfield two. Not the strongest midfield two that we've ever had. Alibi I'm pretty confident in. Hayesman hasn't played especially well, and he's coming back from an injury. Uh, but we've got a lot of guys that are trying to roast up a little bit, so we'll have to do some little swappy doos around here and figure out what we can do to make this work for us. I don't know. Most of our midfield is actually really tired right now. So that is very problematic. Um, now, we'll see. Uh, we got Richie on the left, Hurd on the right, Salisbury and Charles in the middle. We are going to swap you two guys around. And that is going to be the team. Let's go. I think we can beat Walsall. Uh, I mean, again, I know we've lost to them, but I think that this is a different team than what played them earlier in the season. And again, this is a home game. So double bonus in our favor as far as that's concerned. There's Chizoba up to Charles. Charles gets it to Richie. Richie makes a good move between two defenders. Hazeman over to Alibi. Alibi pushing the ball up to Charles. Charles has a little bit of space. Does he have some help in the middle? He does, sort of. What a shot from Hurd. Wow. Wow. That might be a goal of the season contender right there. That was an incredible shot. That was an incredible shot. Let's watch this thing again. That was... It got deflected, so he had to make a... <laughs> oh my goodness. What a play by Hurd. I am so glad we brought this guy in permanently. Oh my goodness. That guy has been well worth it. Absolutely well worth it. Every single penny. Let's keep it up. We're only 10 points. No, I'm not going to say it. I can't say it. Don't, don't say it. Just, just pretend I didn't even start that sentence at all. Ignore me. <laughs> <laughs> not worth considering, not even worth looking at. We're just going to block that out of my mind. Corner kick coming in from Hurd. Can he add on to his awesome performance so far? Just about. Foran was this close. Let's keep it up, guys. Keep up that pressure. That's what we need to win this game. There's Alibi over to Foran. Foran up to Becca Monzi. Becca Monzi. He's played so well for us as well. Charles gets held up there, but there's Richie. We know he can play. He could do the... Oh, Good play by Evans, but it was definitely on target. So if Evans hadn't gotten that one, I think that would have been a goal for Richie. It's all right. Keeping the pressure on is exactly what we need to continue to see. Ah, good stuff. All right. I do believe that we are capable of more. I think we should be winning by at least another goal. Um, I'll call me greedy, if you will, but I think that's just the way it is. Let's see here. Who do we want to swap around here? Um, I mean, four out on a yellow card. Probably a good idea. Get Katongo in here. Uh, I mean, Hayes Green has not played well, but I just don't like defenders with yellow cards, quite frankly. <sighs> Richie's not played well today. 
you know, we're gonna give Richie, we're gonna give Richie 10 more minutes and then we'll probably sub him out. I know what he's capable of, so that's why I'm not gonna read too much into his current rating. Although he did drop down to a 6.4, so obviously he's just not on his game today. We're gonna bring him out of here. We'll bring, uh, he'll bring Dickinson in. I was gonna bring Kamara, but he's a little bit more tired than Dickinson is, so we'll bring Dickinson into that spot. Heard is also pretty tired right now. Beckham Monzi's pretty tired. We'll bring Beckham Monzi out, bring Smith into that spot. Yep, I like that. Heard will probably be one of the next ones out, as well as Salisbury. But for now, they can stick around for just a few more minutes here. Come on, guys, keep it up. You're playing well. Just would love to have that cushion go. Okay. Heard, and we definitely want to bring Salisbury out of here. Kirby can come into that spot for sure. Uh, it's then between Charles and Hurd. Hurd was got to this level sooner, so I think he will actually drop down sooner as well. So we'll bring in Kamara onto that right-hand side, and I think that's going to be fine. Actually, I think Kamara and Dickinson would prefer to swap. Uh, I think Dickinson prefers the right, and Kamara actually prefers the left. So I think that is still going to be a good move for us. All right, guys, just hold on for the last 20 minutes here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Corner kick coming in from Hazeman. Oh, I, was gonna, I couldn't tell if that went in at first. Katongo brought him off the bench, and he picks up a goal. Katongo is one of our top goal scorers, isn't he? I think, but we've had a couple defenders that have a lot of goals this season. I didn't see what number that was for him. I was too, too distracted by the goal itself. All right, guys, come on. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Well, probably about eight minutes. Whatever, whatever extra time there is, but... Man, I hate giving up, hate giving up freebies like that. I hate it. Ugh. I say freebies. I mean, they, they worked for it, but we just, we should play better at that, in my opinion. That's just, just poor play there. Ah, uh, Katongo got on it. Is it possible that if he hadn't deflected that um, Zach attack would have stopped it? I don't know that that's the case. And honestly, Katongo wouldn't have any way to know that. I mean... He's trying to do whatever he can to deflect it away from the goal. And he, he honestly almost did. He was probably, what, six inches, eight inches off of it going wide of that side. So I can't fault Katongo for trying to get a deflection there. Um, it's just hard to know where the goalkeeper is behind you and whether or not you should, where they should put your foot in front of you or, you know, kind of put a foot in front of him or let him take it. And I think he still, I think he made the right decision at the end of the day. It was on its way out, uh, out that right-hand side. He just barely snuck in there. Kamara with the corner kick coming in here. Let's go. I'm, I say let's go. No, sit there and all day. I don't care. Run the clock. <laughs> that is perfectly fine. Do not listen to your manager when he tells you to speed things up or when we're actually trying to run the clock down. That's actually the right move. Smith with the ball. Back to Hayes Green. We do have a full five minute extra time here. That is not fun to see. Come on. We got another highlight here at the very end. Let's go. Come on, guys. Uh, let's go. No, 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 no. I don't like that it's in their control. There we go. Charles with the ball. Up to Kirby. Kirby, put this away. No, nope. okay. I mean, he did kick the ball away, but I think he misunderstood what I said. <laughs> Dickinson now. Here's another highlight here at the very end. 30 seconds left. Uh-oh. 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 Come on, Smith. All right, good, good ball. That's what we're going to do. Come on, ref. Don't, don't, don't hold the whistle, buddy. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Tweet, tweet, tweet. There we go. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Come on. It's out of play. It's out of play. Time's passed and it's out of play. There we go. All right. Good stuff. That was... We'll take it. I didn't like the fact that they got to go back, but I am not going to complain too much about that overall result. Uh, I mean, nobody played like amazingly outstanding. I will criticize a couple of these guys that just need to pick it up just a little bit into this home stretch here. Um, Actually, quite a few guys. Let's go. Come on. Pick it up just a little bit, guys. Y'all did okay, but just, just not super happy. All right. Oh, man. This has been a season. This has been an amazing, amazing season. I mean, to be fair, no matter how this ends up, we way over, over did what I expected. I mean, does, it, does they, do they change the um, preview this late? No, they still got us at 16, which is funny. <laughs> obviously they don't change this because it says 16th and I happen to know that we can't get lower than 
playoffs right now, which means we can't get lower than sixth place. So obviously they don't update that. But we are locked into the playoffs according to this, um, which is awesome. At the very least, the worst case thing we could possibly do right now is have a chance for promotion. Um, so that's that's not bad. I'll take that all day long, although I'm not a huge fan of going through the playoffs. All right, I don't know why I'm advancing. That is the end of that episode. Uh, we need bigger stands, man. We would be selling out a 10,000 stadium, I think, at this point, which would be some really good financials. Uh, I think we've actually got an expansion in the point forks, don't we? Uh, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for that, right? Um, where would it be? General? No. Where is it at? Hmm. Where would I see that? I don't remember where that shows up. Under financials. I don't remember. Debts and loans. So I got this big old bank loan that we're paying off right now. It's a lot of loan. A lot of debt, actually. I mean, we've got a lot of debt, to be fair. But if we just get up, I mean, the more we advance, the quicker this debt starts getting paid off. I thought we were expanding the seating a little bit, but I'm, I can't find it. So I'm sure it's in here somewhere. Actually, it might be here. Ah, there it is. Expand stadium right there. The board have plans to expand the stadium. It is in progress. I knew it was somewhere. I just couldn't remember where it was listed. So I don't remember how much this is going to add. I think it's only going to add a couple thousand seats, but still a couple thousand seats. I mean, I think we will sell that out. So, all right, we'll go ahead and put a cut in there. The last episode will be the last episode. <laughs> I mean, that's it. The next episode will be the last episode is what I meant to say. Uh, we will be showing the, well, actually probably what I'm going to do, I will go ahead and show the Papa Jones trophy final because why not? It's a trophy. Might as well. We'll show this trophy and then we'll skip the two and show Portsmouth. Or if we've already got a pretty close lock-in, we might show one of the sooner games, but expect Fleetwood Portsmouth unless it looks like we can lock it in sooner. But I do appreciate you guys watching. This has been a fun season, guys. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.